Mr. Locke's second grade class is proud to present the Little Red Hen. Welcome to our program. Welcome to our show. This is the story of the Little Red Hen, a story you all know. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who shared her tiny cards with a goose, a cat, a dog, and a mouse. The goose was a, was a gossip. He chatted with the neighbors all day long. The cat was very vague. She brushed her fur, straightened her whiskers, and polished her claws all day long. The dog was always sleepy. He napped on the front porch swing all day long. <coughs> the mouse was very hungry. He scurried around basically all day long. The little red hen ended up doing all the work around the house. She cooked, she cleaned, she washed the clothes. She took out the trash. She mowed the lawn, she raked the leaves, she even did all the shopping. One morning, on her way to the market, the little red hen found a few grains of wheat. She put them in her pocket of her apron. When she got home, she asked her friends, Who will help me plant these grains of wheat? Not I. I have to clean the pond. Not I. I have to sit in the lawn bed. Not I. I have to take a nap. Not I. I need to the peas. Then I will plant them myself, said the little red hen, and she did. Not I. There's a party at the pond. 
You put the bread in, you turn the oven on, you bake it in, you bake it till it's all baked and brown. That's what it's all about. The smell of the baking bread soon filled the air. It smelled so delicious that the goo stopped catting, the cat stopped washing, and, and the dog stopped napping, and the mouse stopped snacking. One by one, they came into the kitchen when the little red hen took a fresher baked loaf of bread out of the oven. She said, who will help me eat this bread? Oh, I will, I will. I will, I will, I will. You will. Who planted the wheat and took care of it? You did. Who cut the wheat, who cut the wheat and threshed it? You And that's exactly what she did. The end.